So what we're going to quickly run is a spoofing example. Now I'm going to use the analyzer tool here, okay, which allows you to look at any company's domain. We have a quick look at threat protects, and for the sake of this call, we actually moved their domain from reject back to p equals none, which means they'll be getting reports but not actually blocking any potential spoofing services. So we now are going to look at our spoofing tool, which is something that someone internally set up in about sort of five, 10 minutes. And we're going to send it from Johnny's email address to mine at Redsif. And we've just done a sort of a typical phishing email here. And I'm going to hit submit. Now, the reason why in a minute we'll look at how this you know, gets through is because they're in that num policy, so nothing's currently blocked. But when we move them back to reject, that service will actually fail DMARC validation and become rejected on our end. So if we go to my inbox now, we have effectively now got two emails in here. The first one is exactly from Johnny's email address. And you can see this is how it appears. And this is our other service called on inbox, which shows that this is recognized as a legitimate email because these are green. The only reason why C is amber in this status because the message is revolving around transacting money um, to a different account, which is kind of a something we recommend people to have a little closer look at. But the piece that you all wanted to see here was this one. So this comes in. It appears to be exactly from Johnny. The email itself looks exactly the same to the, you know, any untrained eye here. But in this case, we can see our on inbox service picks it up as a spoofing mail and detects the end user here not to interact with it. But we've seen here how easy that spoofing attack was able to be carried out. Um, and it's literally, you know, if you don't have DMARC in that policy of reject, these attacks could be happening all the time, targeted at your customers or other companies in your supply chain. Donnie switched this back to reject nicely now, which means any unauthorized sending services will now fail DMARC validation and become blocked, therefore protecting their domain. So this is the moment of truth. It usually takes about 10 minutes to propagate this, but I think we've probably spoken for about 10 minutes now from Johnny doing that. I just need to copy and paste the original email back again, which is what I made earlier. By the way, this, this spoofing uh, service that we use internally, one of our IT team literally set this up in about half an hour. I think we use a SendGrid account and an IP from that to send these emails out. So that's everything on there. Exactly the same here again. I'll hit submit. And the last test we'll do is to get Johnny to send resend that same email again that he did earlier. So I have I have done that actually, Harry. So you should have that in your inbox. Perfect. So this one's just processing an RN. So this is the legitimate one from Johnny. That was the moment of truth in case that's that was the spoof, but it's not. This is the legitimate one that's come through again. But as we can see here, the spoof has been blocked as that would usually come through instantly. And there we go. That is your full run through around a spoof mail. So one last time, this is a spoof email that we sent about 20 minutes ago, came straight through on inbox catches it. These emails could be going out to your customers, companies in your supply chain, et cetera. DMARC is the only way to block these exact domain impersonation attacks. As you can see there, it looks to be from Johnny. Whereas this is a legitimate one, you know, so, so the untrained eye is very tricky to distinguish that. Whereas here, you know, our on inbox picks that up to be legitimate.